so for larger classes, crowd marks, there's, there's, there's actually, there's one main savings in terms or management savings for us that is sort of clear to everybody at the outset that it just goes faster. If you're going to mark papers and you have a thousand exams to mark and you're spending time flipping between pages, that's just a waste of time when you can be doing it electronically and question five just pops up on your screen and then you want the next question five, it's one you know enter key stroke away. So that was the biggest advantage at the outset was just being able to mark online and not having the moving paper time spent. And we did studies of the outset and found, you know, we had about a 25% reduction in marking time required. And I, that clearly indicated that we were saving time that we did not need to be spent marking that was not actually helping the marking. Then once we delve deeper into it, I've been using it for, I guess, about eight years now, uh, all the soft advantages came out as well. So in paper exams, comments are, you know, scrawled by various TAs in red marker and hopefully legible, but there's an impetus to try to cut the length of those down because it takes too long to write and you have a thousand exams to get through. Whereas now with the drag format in Crowdmark, you can actually write a rich comment. You can point to something else. You can actually write the mini solution there for the students so they can look at their answer and see the solution right beside it in a way that to me, it feels more immediate when you're reading feedback than, oh, just go look at the solution we posted. This, this way the students just can see there, see the other one, see the discrepancies. And we tended to get far fewer questions about why did it get the mark that I got because the students could see it. We, we could communicate that in a time efficient and much richer way. And then on the back end, just dealing with any student questions about the grading, uh, it's so much easier to facilitate that when a student says, here's my name, here's the question I want to ask about. I can just pop it up on my screen within a minute instead of going, oh God, there's that pile of a thousand exams over there in the corner. I really don't want to deal with this right now. So I'm going to wait until you know two weeks later and then go through and try to do them all at once. Then you can't find a paper or you've returned it. And then you have the whole integrity issue of what has the student done to the paper after you handed it back. Here, you're guaranteed that what you have in the Crowdmark system is exactly what they submitted. So there's just so many benefits there. The other major one for us was uh, also consistency. So in a large class, you always have the trade-off of, do you want people to not spend time flipping pages so they just mark a whole exam, or do you have them mark the same question, but then they have to handle all the exams, you have to pass them around, all that sharing, that really was the impetus, I think, for developing Crowdmark. Uh, now we can have a TA mark one question all the way through so it's more consistent they get their nice comment bank and consistent marking schemes associated with that which really saves them time and over the exam period the grading period you you stay more consistent because you can look back and go oh I did give minus one for that I forgot that was two days ago that I'd seen the last example of that particular mistake or that kind of approach so you get more consistent that way and we can also supervise it which is fantastic so we can say mark 50 papers and it becomes practical for instructor to look through those 50 papers, the TA's mark and go, okay, I think this is fine, but I'd like to correct your marking weight on this. You know, that's less important for us, but this concept thing is more important. So we want to penalize accordingly. The fact you can automatically go back and edit the grades associated with the comments instantly and check that kind of uh, grading before it gets too far into the full paper stack has been tremendously helpful for maintaining sort of consistency between what we set as expectations in the classroom and what the TAs are grading on the back end. Uh, so it just makes it more fair for the students, quite frankly, but it's, uh, it's an insight that we couldn't have had when TAs were marking on paper. It's just too tedious to go through and try to review marking that way.